to choose. Space to choose. It only took me 16 years to work this out. <laughs> and it wasn't easy. Because just like us when we're managers, hang on, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Yeah. I pay the bills, I go to work, I buy food, I buy clothes. What I say should go. That's reasonable, isn't it? <laughs> no. You may have heard of this idea, Carla, of democracy. <laughs> it's a very new idea. Right? But the point is, is that any solutions we plan are contingent on the responses of other people. We need to make space for other people to respond and have choices. Because you know that if you go to workers sometimes and say, da -da 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 -da, you must, you must, you must, yes, you'll be seeing the union quite soon. <laughs> and we will close this down around you. Then see how much work gets done. <laughs> okay? So as I said, Unlike in the UK, Indian students are much better prepared to negotiate. Okay? You have to negotiate with people, because if you tell people, you must do this, you must be joking. <laughs> right? Because, forgive me, if professor says to your teacher, you must do this, your teacher will look at the professor and say, do you think so? <laughs> You will lose your job. Does it look like I care? <laughs> so, because you can do whatever you like as long as you're prepared to accept the consequences. Yes, yes. So, circle so say, I'm in charge, I'm the director, I'm the assistant director, you have to do what I say. Nothing happens. <laughs> the, the director can be having a heart attack. He's crying. Blood vessels in his head blowing up. Like member of staff. <laughs> you can shout me, but it's still not happening, is it? You can make me lose my job, but it still won't get done. <laughs> what to do? Okay. So as I said. The most important thing about this slide and this approach in your context is you have to negotiate reality. It may say something on your job contract on your job contract. It may say something what you're supposed to be able to do, but in the real world you negotiate reality. The one that we have in our head isn't the only one. It may not be the best one for understanding what's going on. So we have to negotiate and talk. And I said, for you people in this context, you'd be much better trained to negotiate than some of my students back home. Because we're taught, if you're in charge, you're in charge. Okay? That's why people have heart attacks in the UK. Okay? Does that make sense? Well, reality is contingent. It's not fixed. Okay? Now, can you check the next slide, please? I'll keep going. This was me, a skin thing. Sometimes we need to change the frame. We need to look at things differently. Construct what we see differently. So this is an advert for razor blades. How cool is that, though? How cool is that as an advert? Just like the grass, just <coughs> shaved up. It's about changing the frame, looking at things differently. For example, this slide, you can see, from where you sit, you can see everything on this slide. You can see the words, the picture, and everything, yes? All I can see now is my shadow and some badly painted wall. <laughs> What you see depends on where you stand. If this is my reality, and you're, you're telling me about, ah, there's that picture of a buddy, isn't it great? Ah, 
<laughs> you crazy fool, what are you talking about? All I can see is some badly painted wall and some shadow. Yes? Your reality is shaped by your experience. One of the key marks of internationally and globally kind of movable professionals is the ability to move from viewpoint to viewpoint to viewpoint with ease. If you can only see the world from where you sit, how can you understand my world? <coughs> Again, small story. My oldest daughter, she didn't do well in school. She, her, her, the work she does is very poorly paid. So sometimes I go to market with her and buy food. So we're in the supermarket. I know you don't really have supermarkets here, but we're in the supermarket. <coughs> and she was picking up different types of food, going, studying them. What the hell are you doing? I'm just seeing which one's best value. What the hell are you doing? Because in my life, I don't even need paper. I just take that piece of plastic. I don't need to worry about the values. Like, do I want this or not? But for her, with a limited income, this is very important. When I say I have no food in my house, that means I have no food that I like to eat in my house. When she says she has no food in her house, she means there is no rice, there is no flour, there is no dal, there is no oil. Same phrase, two very different meanings. Our experience shapes our reality. It shapes what we see. It shapes what we feel. Because from here, you can't tell me about some big razor blade. I've no idea what you're talking about. So when we tell our workers or the people who work for us, you need to look at the big picture. Yes, madam, but what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I can't see any bigger picture. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. So the ability of people to see other people's viewpoints is really, really important. The mark of flexible intelligence and flexible compassion. Because if I see the world through my daughter's eyes, I'm a fool. I have very few skills for survival and success in her world. Does that make sense? Yes. You were, has, anyone, has anyone worked or studied abroad yet? Okay. Worked or studied abroad? Okay. Yeah, okay, no worries. Have you, have you all visited abroad yet? Okay, no problem, no problem. All right. When you go abroad, you realize that your professionalism, your money, your status, your qualifications, your intelligence, your language skills don't mean a damn thing. Trust me. All right? Now, I'm going to exaggerate only slightly. When you come to Heathrow or Gatwick or Birmingham Airport in my country, people don't see my friend. Oh, he's my operations manager. Welcome to the country. That's really great. What they see is Al Qaeda. <laughs> All right? They come to our friend here. Yes. Al Qaeda in drag. <laughs> All right? Or, forgive me, they come to Sir and say, You're coming here to get a job, aren't you? Okay? They don't see you in the same way that people see me when I come to this country or come to Nassau. When I come to that, everyone's, hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. Can I help you? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you say? You stupid foreigner. Never mind. We like you anyway. Come on.
Yeah. But people, you can't stop it, but. <laughs> but it's interesting, it's like, so children, I was just in the walk along, it's like children. <laughs> you come to the UK? No, 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 no. That doesn't work for you. Trust me. I don't want to depress anybody, but all the things you have of value here, when you go to other countries, don't mean a damn thing. This is a hard lesson to learn. Huh? Seriously, it's a hard lesson. Because you're used to things happening when you speak. You're grown-ups, you're mature people. You're used to making decisions. You're used to having an effect. When you go to other countries, they don't play by the same rules. And you are essentially a fool. As far as they're I don't necessarily mean that yeah, you're a fool, but you don't know how anything works. So you're incompetent. The, um, let me give you an example, if you don't mind. My youngest daughter went to Tanzania. All the skills I have are nothing. All my faith in justice and doing the right thing came to nothing. This is being recorded, isn't it? <laughs> because if it wasn't being recorded, I'd tell you that what I wanted to do to the man. That's okay, it's okay. No, 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 I realize that for poor people, for people without connections, life is hard. Because what happened was that this man was, he was like us in that country. He knew what to do. He knew that as soon as he'd done this bad thing, he had to take money and scatter it like seed. Quick time. So that any time foreigners came, da -da 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 -da, no, we'd love to help you, yeah, 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 yeah. but nothing happened. Okay. One time, as he was coming into court, this man passed me. In my younger days, I used to do um, Muay Thai. Muay Thai? Mm -hmm. I had to stand there and hold my elbow. Because the elbow wanted to go into the man's nose and drive it into his brain. And kill it. Because it's like, that's my, that's my baby, you've heard. I'm sorry, I have to kill you. I know it's not very Gandhian, but it's very fatherly. Right? Because as fathers, is anyone parents here yet? You love this parent? <laughs> 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 No, you have two basic jobs. Keep them safe, get them the best. Yeah? Yeah. This man had hurt one of my children. Has to die. <laughs> Simple things. Alright? And I realized that sometimes people do bad things not because it's their first choice, but because they have no other choice. Does that make sense? So sometimes when we're looking to run operations, and people do bad, for us, what seem like bad things, it's not because they're bad people, but as far as they're concerned, they have no other choice. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when we go to work abroad or to study abroad, you need to realize that all of the things of value about you here may not work there. I mean, remember the 